Dear Dr. Rachem Price, Thank you for your interest in the Barclay Fellowship, the nation's premier partner in advanced sports medicine. We were overwhelmed by the number of truly exceptional candidates this year. The selection committee has given careful consideration to your application. Unfortunately, I don't keep reading. I click the side of my phone and the screen turns black. That's why I'm stuck here with Chad and not at my brother's wedding brunch. Call me selfish, but I couldn't bear to lose it in front of Harrison and his new husband and the whole extended family. So I slipped away, ordered a taxi, and came back here to wallow. It's not like I'm missing the actual wedding. That was yesterday. The brunch today is just for those people who didn't have early flights out. I played my part all weekend long, smiling through all the events. I gave my proud sister speech at the rehearsal dinner and danced like a loon at the reception last night. I'm happy for him. Really. He and Sumchai are the definition of persevering love. But I'm sad for me, too. Harrison will understand. It's a twin thing. My flight home leaves first thing tomorrow morning. Knowing some, he'll marshal a small army of Thai aunties to bring me food for the next week to try and cheer me up. He's not even from Cincinnati, but he has connections everywhere. He and Harrison are both big-name chefs, slowly building out their empire. I can't complain when it means my fridge is always bursting with amazing free food. Losing out on this fellowship sucks, but life moves on. For now, I need to go home. I'll let myself wallow for a day or two. My roommate will cry with me. She's basically an empath. Tess cries when actors on TV cry. She cries when cartoon animals cry. Meanwhile, I'm an emotionally unavailable closed-off clam. Her words, not mine. So, I guess I'll give crying a try. But then I need a plan. I need to start phase two 